What's up, everyone? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Thanks for joining. As you can see, we're about to get started here in just a moment. I just need to share the post around to a couple places first. Thanks for stopping by the stream. If you're watching this right now, go ahead and shoot us over a like and comment if you can. Let me know if you have any questions about Pixel Ripped or any other VR games. below. Pixel Rift is available as of today for Rift Vive and PSVR. We are about to get started here in just a moment. Hi Chuck, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by to watch the stream, everyone. I really appreciate it. We'll be getting started in just one more minute here. All right, I think we are ready to get going. Okay, like I said everyone, we are playing Pixel Ripped, which is a VR game about video games. We're gonna get started in just a moment. Let me put on my touch controllers here. Uh, the game does support Rift, Vive, and PSVR. It is available on all headsets as of today. Let's take off. All right, if you're watching this video live, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you are watching a replay archive of this video, please comment replay down below. that you start in here you can oh there's me I didn't notice the mirror before it's me sitting on the couch here hey what's up Chad thanks for stopping by the stream really appreciate it um, I'm playing pixel ripped 1989 which is a VR game about playing a retro game that's the best way to describe it um, as you can see here uh, my my touch controllers are mapped to this in-game controller here in front of me and I'm sitting in a 8-bit style 3d VR living room We've got a chicken dancing on the table over there and see myself in the mirror Kind of looks like a ghouls and ghosts style poster nice little 8-bit jukebox going on All right Hey Regalado, thanks for stopping by the stream. Um, so as you can see here, I'm uh, at the very beginning of the game. We're going to get started uh, right now. Let's just go ahead and jump in. Um, like I said, if you're watching this stream live, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Say what's up. 
I'd be happy to see what you guys think of this game if you have any questions. If you are watching an archive version of the stream, if you're watching a replay on Facebook after it was live, um, comment either replay or hashtag replay so that uh, we guys can uh, so that we can know what you guys are, are watching. Hey Alex, the game's not broken. I'm uh, just sitting here at the beginning of the game. Um, you should listen to the voiceover. Turn up your volume. Alright, so the game, the way that it works is that it evolves over time, as you can see. So it's very, very archaic, primitive graphics here, 8-bit style. Um, you know, it definitely looks like a game that was on the Atari is uh, how it starts out here at this very first level. I'm really just kind of moving, you know, from left to right. Uh, you know, I now I have the ability to run. I can run and jump. And here we go. Hey, Lewis, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by, Matt and David and Brad. Thanks, you guys. Like it is ripped right out of an SNES game. Hey Hank, hey Brad, thanks for stopping by guys. Stone was stolen. Hey Brad, I'm glad you think so. The uh, concept actually gets a lot cooler as you go on. And um, the way that it melds the worlds together is really interesting. Okay, so I'm playing as Nicola Green. She's currently in school. Hey Peter, what's up? Thanks for stopping by the stream. All right, I have to possess a uh, small school child because that's how these kind of things go, right? Really nice looking. Whoa. <laughs> I have my little school girl outfit on and everything. Dear kid. Definitely not a Game Boy. Okay, I can do that. This is such a cool effect. I would love to play this game with an actual prop of some kind, you know, that actually looks um, like the Gear Kid device here that I'm holding. Hey Pierre, the purpose of the game is that you play as this little girl playing a game inside of this VR world. Um, yeah, so Peter, this is not a real game from an old console. It is a unique concept they came up with. Alright, let's get going. So here we are in class now. 
Oh boy. Oh crap. Just touch. Open your mind for virtual reality. Distract the teacher. Okay, so if she sees me, it's game over. Can't let her catch me playing. Okay. Oh, they turned me back into a pixel. What the heck? Okay, so as I collect pixels, it looks like I transform into a more advanced version. Oh, hey, check it out. Oh, teacher lady is back. Oh, she's about to count to five, guys. You better sit down. You better sit down. Hurry up. You're gonna get in trouble. Go sit down. Three quarters. A quarter. All right. That's it. I said shut up and sit down. All right. Well, she's mad. Angry teacher. <laughs> Don't let her catch you, otherwise it's game over. Okay. Got some flashbacks going on. It's dangerous out there, take this. Nice Zelda reference. What is that? Oh, that's a spitball shooter. Oh, okay, so I can distract her with that. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm gonna distract her again. device that changes the graphics of the world. It's really cool. Oh, whoops. I lost some of the pixels. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks, David and Peter. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll try to answer as best I can in between playing. Okay, she's very distracted right now. play up here like this so I can see her at the same time. Oh! As you know, the school-wide history project has been about the children. There we go. Laser beam. Oh, cool. Oh. Pay attention. Yeah. 
tea time. Checkpoint. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Ryan and Ted. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, this is a really interesting concept so far. Hey, David. Yeah, I definitely have to remain calm here. This is uh, not not a time for me to to get nervous. I gotta make sure that teacher does not catch me. Oh! Nothing to see here, lady. No one cares. <laughs> what the heck? It's in! What a go! This is important. Okay. I have to save the world. Open a portal and left. Okay. Nope, you gotta go fix those things again. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Finally died. That's alright. Oh, dang it, same part. Keeps getting me hung up there. Yeah, Ryan, this is a pretty funny concept. It's, it's really interesting so far. I'm just curious about the actual longevity of the game, you know, is it... How long is the full... Is the full thing going to be? Is it going to be fun the whole time? And she doesn't even notice all the game cartridges on my desk over there. Okay. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, dang it. I got lost. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, shoot to distract the teacher. Yeah, I know, I know. Here we go. Thanks for tagging your friends. Uh, make sure you share the stream around, let people know about it. Um, in the future, we'll be doing more giveaways here on the stream. Um, we're not going to be giving away any copies today, but uh, I do appreciate all the shares, all the likes, all the comments. Um, let me know what you guys think about the game so far. If you have any questions, 
be happy to answer them. I'm still on the first level. It uh, looks like there's about five levels, if I could tell from the uh, opening menu. I think we're getting close to the boss fight here. Let's see if I can distract her again. There we go. Ooh, what's going on? This is different. Boss by time. Come at me. Come on. Okay. It looks like she can't affect me during the boss fight. Why fight if you can't even catch me? Well, that's pretty meta. Whoa! He just hit me with his own life bar. What the heck? The floor is lava, of course. I turned all my book supplies into an actual level. That's pretty cool. Yep, this is the actual level here. That's really neat. Alright, let's go jump into it. And there we go. Shortcut unlocked. Ah. Alright, so unlock that stapler. Man. Yeah, the music is really good, Jim. I totally agree. It has a great soundtrack so far. Just all the little subtle references and Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff is really, it's really nice. Okay, let's go jump back. Level 
clear. Yeah, Ted, that's right. On my left hand, the character is actually wearing a power glove. <laughs> Yep. Hey, Joa, thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate it. Too bad. Um, level two time. Oh, I'm at recess this time. Like and listen to my cassette player. Oh, jeez. Man, they just don't make chip tunes <laughs> the way they used to, huh? Interesting. The kids just passed out on the ground. Alright, so I guess I don't have to worry about the teacher on this one, because we're all outside. That's good. Yeah, I said, I have a feeling a game like this is going to trip a lot of people out. Hey, Anna, so if you guys are watching the stream right now, Anna Ribeiro is the main developer of Pixel Ripped. So go ahead and uh, say hi, and uh, thanks for stopping by the stream, Anna. If anyone has any questions, she's right there, and uh, I'm sure she'd be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, of course, we're happy to share the game, and we will have a review later this week. All right. Time for level two. Oh dang it. Stupid dragons. There we go. Well, that didn't go well. Oh man, I'm so hungry right now. That sandwich actually looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. I wish I had a real pixel red backpack. Okay. Okay, things are gonna be different this time. the turn there we go cool there we go checkpoint number two we're doing pretty good now
Ooh, what's in here? What? Cartridge found. Neat. Okay. Like a little collectible going on. I like it. I like it. Okay, so those treasure chests don't seem to be a good thing. I think that's two in a row that just have fire inside of them. Okay, checkpoint number three. Hey Marty, glad you're liking it. The game is available as of today. It is now on Rift Vive and PSVR. You can get it on Oculus Home, on Steam, on PSN. You can download it. It is a VR only title. And so the game is more than just looking down at a little Game Boy. Um, that's that's a big part of what I'm doing right now. Oh, dang it. Um, but, you know, there is a world around you. There are elements from different levels that take you outside of the Game Boy and you're kind of playing inside the game world. Um, so it's, you know, it uses this kind of Game Boy-esque system as an entry point for the game, but this isn't the entire experience. Um, I am on level two. I think there's four or five total levels. Oh, darn it. About halfway through level two now. So thanks you guys for stopping by the stream. Um, as always, I'm, I'm going to mention, you know, UploadVR.com is the site that um, the stream is being played for. Um, our review will be live later this week for the full impressions of the entire game. Um, you can check out our stream with Hellblade yesterday. Um, Hellblade just got VR support as well. Our full review of that is up at UploadVR.com. Um, oh, wow. That was crazy. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about Pixel Ripped, uh, go ahead and ask in the chat, and either myself or Anna, the developer who is here watching, will be happy to answer those. Oh, there's another cartridge. Nice. Hey, Igor. Uh, dying is not my objective. Obviously, I intend to stop dying, and I did, so thanks for your support. Yeah, if anyone's ever played a Mega Man game, then you will have a pretty good idea of what to expect with Pixel Ripped. It's not exactly like Mega Man, but it sure does feel pretty close. There we go. Oh. Hurry up. Nope, not getting that cartridge. Forget it. Aw, oh, dang it. Leap of faith. Hey, Anna, it's not hard. It's not too hard at all. I would definitely not say it's too hard. Trial and error, and, you know, it's a huge part of these kind of games. That's part of the design. Um, I don't think it's too hard. Aw, oh, darn it. Okay, so it appears above me. go oh really okay so I have to be really fast on that platform to get to the other side of the wall before it appears okay come on there we go nice got it Final checkpoint. Oh man. Okay. Gotta watch out for that guy. Hey Marty, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, definitely Mega Man seems to be the biggest influence in terms of uh, what I'm seeing. Oh dang it. I gotta just run full speed. Full speed, go, go, go. Oh, stupid dragons. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right over them. That works for me, good enough. Oh hey, I'm outside, uh, I'm at the actual school now. 
she's jumping on that right there. <laughs> if the, oh my gosh, if that isn't trippy, then I don't know what is. Whoa, is that kid just climbing the tree? It's pretty impressive. Okay, so that's them right there. They're literally doing those exact things. But there is much more. They are hiding everywhere. There are a bunch of them. the kids. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's pretty neat. Okay. So it's I don't have to lead the shot at all. I just have to shoot exactly where they're at, kind of like duck hunt. Oh no! Machine gun? Did I get everybody? Round clear. Take more than one shot, okay. I see you. Oh! Okay, don't shoot the chickens. Don't mess with the chickens. I got it now. What is this? Are there any more power ups? Oh, whoops. shooting those chickens. Purchased it on PSN today, beat it, absolutely loved it. Slight tracking issue for me, don't know if that'd be the stomach stick out too far. Hey Nathan, um, I think if you just recenter the camera, that'll probably fix the issue if you run into it too much. Um, on Rift, it's clicking the sticks in. I don't know how it is on PSVR. I think it's the options button. Um, that should fix that issue for the most part. I know that I have a similar issue sometimes, and um, yeah, I can fix it if I just recenter. Oh, give me that machine gun. Oh! Oh no! Oh! I didn't realize that kid got abducted. Yeah, you go where she said, happily swinging her legs like nothing's going on. Like your friends aren't getting abducted by dragons and chickens right now. She has no regard for her friends. She doesn't even care. Well. Man, these fat... Birds are so annoying. Oh, machine gun. There we go. Round clear. Oh, 
Ah, uh, machine gun. Give me that. Two done. Hey, no problem, Peter. Thanks for stopping by. Um, like I said, if you guys are watching right now, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know your questions, your thoughts on the game so far. Um, if you're watching an archive version of the stream, comment replay or hashtag replay. Um, just to let people know that you are watching an archive. I would really appreciate that. Make sure you share it, like it. Um, send it to your friends, let everyone check out the game. We will have our full review live and upload VR later this week. I believe I'm probably close to halfway done with the game at this point. I don't believe it's uh, terribly long. What the heck are these guys doing? All this stuff gets stolen? Is that what that was? Good guy, wizard. No problem, bro. Uh oh, there's a however. Invading other game worlds. Okay. My favorite game, Tombs and Zombies. Like Ghouls and Ghosts, I bet. Yep. That's what that looks like. Arturo, King Arthur. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now these other. 8-bit style games are being rewritten and changed by this evil Cyblin Lord. So I've got to go in and save them. Oh, that's right, Igor. I thought they looked familiar. Yeah, those guys were from Golden Axe. Oh, man. Arturo is getting the crap beat out of them. Supposed to be like King Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins. I can never remember the title. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks for saving me from the Cyblin Lord. Oh, he's so dreamy. This is great. Oh, I'm your heroine, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I 
That's pretty funny. Another portal. That was pretty funny. Okay, well, looks like I'm basically at the halfway point of the game. I don't want to play too much more. If you guys are interested, I would highly recommend checking the game out for yourself. Um, I think I'm gonna cut the stream short here um, just so that we don't finish the entire thing. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. There we go. That is a pretty awesome pause menu, I gotta say. Kudos on that. Power glove pause menu. That is wonderful. Okay, well, um, it looks like there are different cartridges you can collect on each level. I'm probably about halfway through now on level 3. I think there's 4 or 5 levels total. I'm back in the classroom for level 1. Um, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here. So that was the first two levels of Pixel Ripped 1989, which is now available on PSVR, Rift, and Vive. I believe the cost is $19.99. I think it's cheaper on PSVR. It might be... Um, it might be the same amount. I can't recall exactly, but that information is on our site at uploadvr.com. We'll have a full review live later this week. I appreciate you taking the time to check out the live stream. If you liked it, please leave me a comment down below and give me a like. I would definitely appreciate um, a share as well. If you enjoyed the live stream, share it with your friends and uh, make sure you check back tomorrow. Uh, we're trying to live stream here on our Facebook page every single day, different VR games. Um, so please let us know what kind of live streams you want to see. You can find me on Twitter at David Jagner right here. You can find all of us at Twitter at UploadVR and at UploadVR.com. Uh, once again, thank you guys for checking out the stream. I had a lot of fun. Um, Pixel Ripped 1989, like I said, now available on Rift 5 and PSVR. I will be having a full review later this week on the site. If uh, you are watching this stream at an archive version of the stream, comment hashtag replay so that we can let us know. And uh, thanks, guys, for checking it out, and I really appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow. And uh, thank you, Anna. Thank you.